will try to get that down again, which they do. Cover there from Effies as well. Base setting up fully for the retake now. It's just a matter of time. Marv, nice jiggles in, just trying to find some headshots. Good. Shock dart coming in. To the side, Zachary. Trying to hold his ground. Look at this aggression from V1. They're just trying to clear out everything that could be a problem. Flank comes through now. But FaZe, they are just being picked off, picked apart. It's Corey, last alive. One or three. Huge flash from him, but... Right, fault line straight into garage as well. The is off B1 looking for a bit of mid control. Straight up there, the Bucky working out for Vanity. Baby Bay looks to thread the needle, try and find some timing, but Baby Bay is ready. On to player one there. Now Vanity trying to hold the flank. She comes in disgusting. These Bucky's, Avril. These damn Bucky's. You hate to see it. We are going to see the frenzy pull out. Corey hits back with the classic. Let me go back to a three and three, or three on three rather, for the post plant. I still thought maybe this was a little dangerous for V1 as well because they're going over towards B on, you know, the pistol coming through for FaZe. To be fair, they are working with Spectres and Buckies. There was that one Bucky coming through from Baby Bay, but at this stage in time, it's 2v1. Zelsus at least healed up. He's got another kill down to a 1v1. Corey super low here. Really winnable. Headshot comes through. 3k from Zelsus. Full armor. Looking over towards the FaZe side of things. Speaking of which, V1 versus Marv. Marv will take that one down. So, Baby Bay through the wall as well. This is going super well for FaZe so far. Aggression over towards A for phase. That's a lot of information though. As we do see V1 try to force the hand on the C site, but that's not worked out at all. The vanity there for the trade might be able to get this spike planted. Ops to go to back of site, but Baby Bay spots him as well. He has the ultimate. That's actually. Is it going to be faked? Does he commit? No, full fake. Phase. Gonna trust it. Fully aware of the situation. They know that he's still here on that C site, so. Going in, strength in numbers. They're going to go aggressive approach as well. Straight up, Vanity happy to fight this one. 76 HP remaining, looking to go for the swing now. Baby Bay up on the box, spotted. Will drop. And Raucus looking to make this work. Vanity TP's off to safety. Still so much time to play with, though. As FaZe, they try to figure out if this is a fake teleport or if Vanity left. has actually gone to another site. You can see this has actually split the defense. So it's just Baby Bay here on the C site. This is exactly what Vanity wants in a situation like this, to take his 1v1s instead. And he's given it, look at that, all the way back. This has been a one-on-three, brought back to the one-on-one. -on -one. 15 seconds, plenty of time to get this spike planted. But he's looking left. for as much information as possible before he does so. And Raucus is coming back now. The recon's going to get dodged here as well because the smoke comes through. So Vanity into a post plant, still swapping guns. As kind of revealed his position slightly, Raucus knows he must be somewhere near oh, the smoke. No! TP straight oh, into oh, Rock's sight lines. Yeah, Vanity's gonna wish he didn't do that. Played like, everything, but he thought about going a little bit deeper. Didn't respect the flash at the end of the day, but there's Vanity down. Rest of the members of B1 still in front. Just got plenty of knives to work with here. One right click and reset the whole damn thing. He's just oh. missed it. That's gonna be unfortunate. Raucus will at least be there to clean things up. It's two versus three and V1. Could possibly still plant. The rest of the phase have shown up though, so the difficulty is there. Oh, Marv, he's gonna go down. Penny can't double it, but he will get away with his life for now. 77 HP, no armor. Handle in hand, five bullets, and then he's one on the head to Nick Zachary. Regret his position. Zachary hits back. Look at this player one now. One on two. Oh, he's right into the trap wire at the way. Worry, however, they just shoot straight past it, go Hang on in, and it is going to work out for the moment. Vanity with that Bucky makes things work for the moment. Bladestorm over the top does not. Now, Vanity's else is both falling to Corey, who holds strong, however. Good trades coming out from V1 all of a sudden on the pistols. Hunter's Fury, I to get a catch. I mean, there was that tag on the on the drone, sorry, on the recon. I mean, Zelsus will take down Zachary, and this is already phased, losing control. Zachary down early again, no trades, and Marv straight off the site. It's going to have to be a 4v5 retake. Just working out so well for them. On the shadows into the back of sight as well. Everything going right for V1. Now Vanity happily posted here. We'll take another man with him. That's going to be Baby Bay as well. Oh, so it's clean. Jet goes down. Entry is going to be so much harder as well now. Another under Marv. Raucus falls to Penny. Space again picked apart. One on three though, Corey. This is what he's able to do. Gets rid of the Leer while well, he can. But look how much time Zelsus is buying. Corey, at this point, may as well just pack his bags. Has Penny in front of him as well. This with a flash behind. Which has drawn out a lot of attention towards that CT position. Brings back to that 1v2. Unfortunately, the time is running down. So it looks like he's just going to try to save the Vandal. Drops into Garage. Oh, Rather not expected him coming from this position. Back to the one-on-one. -on -one. The clock 
As did zero. Zelsus will knock him. Seconds, V1, gotta make some calls here. Low HP for Penny as well. Yep, here we go, they're walking up long. Corey, okay. did he... Uh, it felt like he didn't get enough behind cover there, so he gets wall banged. And Marv's as well. Is he gonna just... Seconds. He needs a bit of help. Oh, 10 seconds, they need to get this plant. Great cover from Penny, and that will allow the spike to go down. Zachary, close on the corner. Angle, should have favoured Penny there, but Zachary holds the spray and finds two. Huge with the Phantom, a 4k from him. And uh, rotate through those ultimates and, you know, face have definitely not been shy about using those. Spike oh, baby Vay tries to face from the top of sight and that does not go for him at all. A little bit sour. If you must, Corey drops the fault line to slow down the push with V1. They're going to regroup over towards C. All right, Managed to get rid of Zachary, but Zachary takes two with him. So keeps it even. Now it's 2v2 with oh, like a minute on the clock. This is ridiculous. And you've got Zelsus lurking in the back lines. Jeez. Corey goes down almost a whiffed shot. That's going to be B secured for the moment. They just need to find where the final man is. As Raucus edges his way in behind Garage. He might want to ult this. Goes. Yeah, he's chosen, that is the option. He's chosen not to, so... He, well, to be fair, he would have maybe exposed himself. He knows two alive and one could be rushing him down. You, Mac, you talk about the fact that... I mean, you, we're like barely 30 seconds in. There's still a minute left and most players are dead. This is what I'm referring to. FaZe and V1 both playing really, really fast here. Raucus, well, at least we have to get onto site for free, but he's got no idea where anyone is. He actually checked over into outside of B, and usually that's where people would be hiding. He'll take contact here. Very nice shot onto V1. V1's P1, and now Zelsus coming in for the potential 1v1 clutch. Position known, Raucus down. We do see the Hunter Fury look to slow that one plant at this point. Okay, finds one onto Zelsus. That's a huge pick to get. Now Penny, we're going to play close range here with the Bucky. Fault line misses him. We are going to see FaZe try to follow up off the back of it. Big flash, and that's the go signal. FE's not drop a recon bolt, but again, Penny's so close here. The Bucky knows that Marv is on the other side. Does he go for the blind wire? He does to close things out. Big play from him. Another couple of kills in the back from Vanity there as well. And let's see if V1 make this retake successful. FaZe in some solid post plants. Bomb planted very open as well. Something a little bit different. Now, V1 posturing. Waiting for everything to come through. You see the recon bolt coming in. Baby babe, a bit of information. Jiggling from the back side. He builds his position though. Player one can't hold Corey. Marv, everyone making V1 fall oh. for a moment. But Penny's hit a couple with a ghost. And all of a sudden, the tide's turned. Vanity now just trying to find where this spike is planted. It's in the off position. So you can have the line up there. Penny with the cover, but it's back to the one-on-one. -on -one. Vanity sticking the defuse. And Zachary's crosshair is not on him at all. And there you have it, V1 with the second pistol as well for the retake. Fire hit, Faze still with five alive. Plants just barely come in here as well. Okay, V1. What have we got to work with there? The last retake was pretty clean, but they've lost their only player on site. Probably still have a couple of flashes. Here we go. Zelsus will be looking to leer in. Taking a while though, Mac. I'm not going to lie. V1, got to get yeah. a move on. Baby Bay was in such a dangerous position, tried to play aggro and left Corey for dead, who managed to find one before falling. Paranoia onto the choke point as well to blast some extra time. Vanity still waiting to come in from that garage position. Baby Bay close on the corner. Effie's doubling down with the Spectre before Zachary trades. Who I believe is now on like 17 kills. This man's been putting in absolute work for FaZe, doing so much at the moment. And he's done just enough to get another round. FaZe now, second round of the half, managing to get the W over the line for the round. Still Probably. pass card for that one. <laughs> now, new round, and again, FaZe, continuing the trend of just running in to see Baby Bay. Again, clearing out the site single-handedly I mean, no with here. the Blade Storm. Exactly, they're just giving it up for free, so FaZe is doing the homework knowing that they like to see a V1 play offside. Alright, well, Zolstis gets another pretty quick Empress. Do you like to see me that? You know, rain of players that are not afraid to pop the ultimate, going straight in. Still got a lair available. Team at his back. Whoa. Do you have to look towards the fact that, okay, I was going to say, there is ultimates available for FaZe. They've got to start using some of these. Rolling Thunder is available. Okay, well, Zelsus, another, can getting into sight in time, and they've managed to deny that spike plant, so... They've got all control. V1, momentum in their favor. It's Marv that needs to make this flank work, but as you can see, V1 looking in this direction, fully aware that the flank is going to come through eventually. Corey, positions. Zachary can play some more groundwork. Aggressive approach, and he can. Penny falling. That's a huge pick, but it's on the other side of the map. And again, FaZe have just strolled into the C site, happily taking it for free. They've only gone C. <laughs> yeah. And V1 
it's like V1 have fallen for this every time as well, because V1 are thinking every single round, there's no way they go C again. There's no way they come back here. We're going to pull more people over towards A and B. And I guarantee you, next round, V1 are going to hard stack C, then FaZe will finally go elsewhere. FaZe in position to win this one, as long as they can hold on to this with their ultimates as well. They've got two players over towards long. Marv down. FaZe can still use these two ults. Got the Hunter's Fury to work as well, of course. The Oh, the does not pop that defuse. It's not even half dick yet, so it's a little bit of a rough situation. It will now be half dick, but they're running out of time. Once the Fury secures the round, and FaZe will be happy with that. This happened. Oh, big oh, through no. the wall. Player one. Worse for wear now. Because we are going to see V1. Look at this. Four, five players. All looking to retake from back here. Paranoia through. Vanity will be coming in from Garge. Oh, moment. what? FB's big Hunter's Fury. Find who? Of the phase players, Vanity as well coming through the smoke at the right moment. Now back to the 4 2. Again, though, the post plants, they're not going to have the ultimate. You've got Zach. Blitz second, exactly when the right click comes through from Penny. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes, dude. I, dude, I, I was burying my face in my hands in that moment. That was ridiculous. You've got a cloud burst to allow the cross, and Baby Bay goes down early. Penny with the Bucky. That one's going to hurt Baby Bay straight on the face. No early man advantage, 4v1, where do they go from here? It's like like I said, eventually by the way, Mac, v1 were going to heavily stack over towards C. It just so happens that Marv will be able to get that one kill, trade his own life away, 3 versus 4, and FaZe can so at least work with 2 ults. Okay, giving up a whole lot of garage control as well, and now we could see a flank into the B site, maybe the flank into C instead. Okay, Raucus falling. Looks like Effies is ready for this as well. Just with the classic. Surely not. Surely not. Zachary, can he get this done? 1v4. He's been the crucial piece of the puzzle to fa phase this game. But now his position's known. He's got so many running. Straight into the market they go. We are going to see Cloudburst on the turret to stop from firing at them. Player one holding strong at the moment. Has to go for the reload. Raucus comes in with a frenzy to trade. There you go. Sight found, but they have no idea. The Penny is coming around the corner. Down, for it. Cloudburst as well, just to jump across and make sure no one's there at logs to stop the door from going down. Corey on site. You can see it's the full turtle at the moment from FaZe. They need to play this one off one another. Corey looking for a couple of wall banks. Gets the paint shells out over towards the lane. But is it enough? It's going to be three all forced into the back of site. You've got the turret there, which doesn't work anymore because Zachary's gone down. Raucus now with the frenzy. Needs to do it all on his own. It's a one on four, but he can only get the single. Epi's on the trade with the lurking at the main. Matter of moments, poor baby bait cracks that door open. Now he's looking to go in. Left. You can see the molly slowing down for a moment. Vanity close range with the Bucky. That right click off, big damage. Zachary's Gornskis. No way, they can't. 20 seconds. Like... There's 20 seconds, and they're going to try to get towards the A site. There's no one here to hold, though. So, Baby Bay in a very crucial position, just looking to buy as much time as possible. Big pick onto Effies, but player one will trade it through, and there's just enough time for Corey to plant this at Gen. And this is actually, I respect this from FaZe a lot because FaZe believed they had B clear when Corey got the solo kill to Zelsus. FaZe internally would have believed that V1 would have pulled members off from B to go towards A. That's why FaZe went back to B and their B split could have been successful, but B was too hot, man. They couldn't land the chopper, so now going back over just in time towards A, 3v3 on the retank, and for V1, we talked about how good these retakes are already. This did trigger that for the moment. We are going to see player one able to go for the trade. Corey and Marv. Solid crossfire under heaven here. Just waiting for the moment. Vanity looking for the information. Finds the first. And I think he said the footsteps of Corey as well. But he doesn't realize that he's looking the wrong direction. Still has some time, but it's not half ticked. He needs to get the kill right now. Corey already solidifying the round. And Vanity looks like he's just going to keep them both alive. So they'll at least both fall. Fortune for V1. That will be one of the few cases where their retakes aren't going to be really good. Paranoia is going to come through from Marv, but they're going to push. Big aggro play. Penny is going to find himself the double feed. Nothing more than that, though. Corey on the trade. Spike needs to be retrieved. We are going to see Corey just jumping in with the showstopper. Clearing out B main. So investment for the map control. Just looking to retake that. Or will they, knowing that there's minimal time? Corey is going to be able to hold that for the moment. Run it back. Celsius alive for the moment. Flash around the corner. We are going to see. Go down. Oh, this is not Holy working crap. out at all. Through the damn roof. Player one connecting. Zachary had a very big performance on map one, but he's going to be asking for something else here. One on four. That is an bit. And you can see they're going to be crawling up. Cat looking you to run. 
maybe find an entry at tree, but V1's ready. They've got three players here, Avril. You've got Baby Bay coming around the corner, though, and Zelsus is none the wiser. Penny, he was off the line for a moment, and that's the opportunity that Baby Bay was looking for. Marved finds two on the follow-up. This is huge. That is the A-site taken. They still need to get the spike oh on spot Vanity, who's going to be continuing to fight for his position. Through the smoke on short, it's going to be nothing for Zelsus as he falls! Two quick ones, or three rather, and that's almost the round already found. Faze in a 4v2. You got Corey coming up top. Looks like we are going to see the A split seems to be the fall. Three. Straight through tree. Effies. He's a dart of his own, but it can't come through in time. Looks like he's managed to find Corey in the corner! Oh, lucky. But Zachary, the coverage, the spray there. It's perfect and play. Like I might end up being a retake. Depends if Penny wants to swing up. And he's gonna flag. Thought he's gonna take a bunch of damage through the boxes. Instantly has to dash away. And here we go. Hunter's Fury into the blaze. So I'm shut down onto Penny. And Effie's just kind of collect a couple. We still have the runner back coming in. Celsius could still make this pretty big. Just down to Raucus. I just have the shock dart lineups. Let's see if this can buy enough time for him to get into that position. Certainly can because V1 aren't on the site yet. Just waiting for those shock darts to come through. Else just looking for the half tick and then to fight here. Good coverage from Effies. There it is. Two man swing. Little totem, totem pulp. And Effies will find himself the triple on the retake. That becomes uh, a no man set up over towards that. Split in towards this B site now. Player one needs to try to anchor like a champion. You've got Zelsus just smashing it through the smokes, trying to get over to the stairs in time. And it looks like this push has been slowed down for the moment. Just can't away. Oh, that is a huge paranoia from Marv. That's going to be CT control. And from this point, again, we are going to see the rotation back to A. So all these kills over towards CT have been very crucial in the round. We've got Zachary just lurking at logs. See if he can have some impact to find the final man, Zelsus. Jumped up. That's been hurt. Zelsus out aims him dropping off the curb. 10 HP. Be able to FPs. There's wine lockdown coming on through. Oh, hang on a second. Baby Bay. Yep. Oh, he'll get out just. To find player one up short, he goes as well. Smoke there as well as this lockdown, just clearing everyone out of the fight. Any guys he wants to go on the aggressive, and it works out as well. Dashing away just after the lockdown finishes, so still staying safe, looking for a little bit more. But Marv through the window finds one. Effie's on the trade. This is looking good now for FaZe. Full control of sight. Effie's and Vanity looking to make their way back in. Last round of the half, so there's no chance of saving here. It's Corey, bit of an off angle next to the box, waiting for Effie's to peek close on the corner. You see, waiting out for the recon dart, which has come through now, looking for the info. I don't think it's tagged anyone, so... Oh, he's oh, like Vanity work. manages to bring it to 2v2. Nice trade, knows it's one-on-one -on -one now. He does deal with the turret, Zachary. He has been spotted here at hell as well. Just spam to the corner, Vanity. And he went it, taps it. Oh. Molly gets rid of it early, but Zachary... Now they're going to work towards tree. They're gonna have to clear Corey. This is a setup. This is gonna be Corey, not blind. Corey is not blinded, by the way. Too close. That one proximity blind is not enough to stop him getting one, a. but even so, phase. Very successful round so far. I got oh. Penny, 11 HP, and he will fall. Baby Bay with the. Tr He's gonna get. The drone gets cleared by Raucus, so this is big. Yeah, Baby Bay can still get a lot of work done. Trying to get back to safety, and he won't. The lineup's almost there. Raucus able to hold things. E player bust straight through market. It's just a matter of moment. Raucus, he's going to be clad burst off. Tries for the timing shot. Doesn't work out. Now on the back of sight. Zach needs to hold down the fort. Oh, beautiful Molly. Gets a second as well. And Effie's, yes, he may be able to get this plant down. And then one on three, he's got some work to do. Phantom in the hand. Can't get a single kill. As Corey comes in to clean things up, janitorial duties. He's playing with this one way. Penny up on top. Going to play the timing and Vanity is brought into the cutout. Okay, timing works out for Penny. That Bucky midair. Ridiculous. That's even allowed. The damn shotgun. Now that's going to be the sight down B1. Good for a moment until Raucus does that. He's in heaven with the Odin. Just deletes Vanity. And the spike is now looking to be planted. Oh, I Spike planted. Okay, I was going to say, I, I, thought, I thought that maybe that was... Uh, no, that's going to be the Nano Swarm coming through from V1 instead. So, player one just making sure no one's going to get swung. He's, they're not going to swing on him while the plant's coming on through. Pretty open for the most part. Become Dark gets deleted, oh. but Penny nearly dies as well. They can see everybody on Heaven, and with that, phase goes down. Penny low HP, still 3v3 here, Mac. He gets that wall up as well to try to get the heal for Zelsus in the corner. He's in rap position, if rap comes remaining. through shortly, it might not work out, but of Effie's... On that operator is just doing work now. It's a two on one, or three on one rather. V1. Seems like they're going to lock down a seventh as Corey is not going to be given anything. Full respect from V1. They're all just hiding until the end. 
to do. Oh, okay, so the info's there. Now, you can see sights are set on the prize. Raucous turns around at the right moment, and Zelsis is caught in no man's land. Give me those back. Oh! Bite oh. down A. Maybe Bay coming in on the flank. How's he, how's he got here? He's just bloody so aggressive. Clearing out everything. Full A main control marks as well. Control oh, up no. the site. Oh, missed opportunity. Up the site Penny as well. Just more, but it is going to be Corey coming in on top. Just draws all the... Pops a couple of those off. Smoke comes through, allowing push from V1, but still two players on site. Penny doesn't hard clear it. Corey's now going to be stuck. To make this one work, Showstopper invested, not get too much damage done. Paint shells as well, and Penny he's just dancing around with the classic here because that operator might not work at close range. It's gonna be Zelsus to close things out with the Phantom looking for some control. We see the flash up top, Raucus though. Crab walking his way to victory. He's underlining, he's waiting for any information. Penny, Holy. Down. see you later, Zelsus. There's the double they're looking for, and it's back to that one on one. Phil Drake comes through, detained. player detained. This should be the round for Zachary, but he still needs to find where he's hiding. In both corners, he gets that one done nicely. Perfect to take the A site. Here. Five on five for the retake. See if phase. They're all going to be coming in from heaven, or they're there at the moment. A little bit of tree control. Zooming in on the map just to show the proximity of all these damn players. Now, Michael's going to be clinic tight open as well. Play one, he's looking to fight. Raucus goes in and <laughs> he has actually found the warband kill. Zelsus as well drops a flame wall. Looking to heal up and hold control of health at the moment. Paranoia comes in, but Bay's no follow-up just yet. B1. Numbers advantage as Vanity. He's still looking to fight. Try to make it even more so. Effies shoots back through the floor. Find one, one of the heavy players. Vanity as well. Nice angle. Finds one. Marved. One on three. It looks like time has ticked away. He's decided to digits now as well. Marved. He's on for the 30 if this drags out. This man's been absolutely putting on a show for us here. On ascent. Phase. They still need that one round. And look, even though V1 did keep three alive, you can retake Effie's close in the corner outside of market. This is a solid position for him. Everything just slows Here. down. Phase posturing for this retake. We're gonna go two players into market. Reach one dart over towards the tree. That's gonna be dangerous as well. But Effie's perfect time on the peak for one day. Be day able to trade. Looks like we're gonna see this man try to come through the wall. Doesn't work out. Might have got a little bit of damage there. Baby Bay over the top. Just waiting for it. Go for the right click again. No, he's missed it. Pulls out the classic to follow up though. Vanity on the back side needs to win this one on three. Can only get a single as Marv. Angle to deal with, but Corey as well. He's in a dangerous position. Just playing around the elbow here on the front of site. Spotted though. You aren't fully aware of his position now. Just trying to force him out. And he goes down to Effies. Okay, Raucus. Looking to stop any overextension. Baby Bay, even with the Sheriff on the pistol. Man is feeling himself with that choice. We are going to see V1 get that spike planted. Look to move into the post plants with the numbers advantage. Now, if he's holding close at elbow, just waiting for FaZe to make their move. Raucous. And in on the back of site. Could find Penny. Oh, he's a sitter. Not bad. Headshot found. Goes back to that three on two. FaZe turning the tires just when it's necessary. Marved another. All of a sudden, it's V1 on the back foot. Zelsis. If anyone can do it, it's this man. He's been performing all day so far. Let's see if the rap works out. No, Raucous swings in from the other direction. It comes down to the fact that FaZe do have three waiting here, Baby Bay, even with the Marshal. Oh, Corey in between a rock and a hard place is not able to escape. Frenzy and Zelsus' hands knocks him out for the moment, Baby Bay. Strikes back, though, keep the numbers even, but not for long. Vanity with this Bucky again, this man! What's going on? A couple of right clicks and FaZe lose two members. Now it's 4v2, v1, full control of the A site. Still, in terms of the weaponry, FaZe might be able to get back in here. Zachary, great performance so far. He's actually playing on the Omen now, which is... Bit interesting, instead of the Sentinels, just trying to wrap in, find a freebie onto player one, look in the wrong direction, Vanity comes in to trade Paranoia out at the right moment, is that the go signal? They to run back in, Zachary still just waiting, Vanity. drops a couple of smokes to isolate Dude. the fight, no he doesn't actually, he falls back, worried about a flood from FaZe, which could come at any given moment, Paranoia in, and here comes said flood, see if V1 are going to be able to deal with it, just hiding behind the corners for the moment, Zelsa's is caught jumping, that's no good, Vanity down, there you go, Marved. Another onto Penny. Now it's up to Effies to bring this one back to V1, but I don't see it happening in a one on four. Oh, and look from the top. On there as well, so this time no hesitation straight away. 5v4 on the post plant. It's yeah, you gotta deal with the run of Oof. sorry, you gotta deal with the blaze on. Maybe you gotta deal with Zachary actually, because face are not really mucking about here. Straight away into a 4v4. It's not the best. I mean, in terms of post planting for B, there's not much you can do. Couple around yellow, couple around green. That's it, Vanity even pushes up in to Idiot Wall, which, uh, you know, makes him look a little bit of a goose in the end. Penny, 
this round as Baby Bay tries to go over the top with the Blade Storm. But now he goes on the aggressive, which he gets punished for. Great job from Raucus. All these strong hauling the way. Zelsus looking to go through it. While the contact comes through from his teammate, that works wonderfully. Allow him another. And now with the numbers, they just need to play the bomb. But Raucus, big flick onto Zelsus. Fully aware. Expecting the second man, Effie's, to come through eventually. But there you have it. Effie's locks things down. Zelsus, ambitious play coming in through mid under the tube. If Corey can thread the needle in terms of timing over on the top, though, Zachary ready for Vanity to be up on top of mid. Corey gets in behind him. Coming through from phase as well. They know that V1's trying to take mid away. At that point in time, the rest of phase start getting aggressive over towards green. And if you tank the spike, it's going to ruin the entire push. And for V1, Penny versus Four. Oh, I'd love to at least just get this one kill onto Marv. But Marv is playing free now. Zelsus yeah. had all the flashes. He had all the real good entry. Like, yeah, sure. Can Vanity throw in a paranoia? That covers one lane. How do you? How, what about the rest? Um, really for this A, what it anywhere on this map for this attack to really get through to an execute. Big part of it's on the Zelsus. They're going to lose Vanity as well, so their smoke cover is going to be really minimal now with pinning down two versus four. And also the fact that Zachary's on site now as well. Baby Bay will do a ram this, and this is not looking good for V1. He's been sharp on the stick at the moment. Let's see if the trend continues. Effie's looking to move forward here, but it's player one to find a pick onto the rafters. Baby Bay threading the needle through the tight gap. Effie's goes to the top of the site. Head might have been spotted. Mark falls. And Effie's brings it back to that 1v2. Goes in the tube, and it looks like it's going to be the totem pole approach. You've got one man at heaven, one underneath. Recon dart, just at the right moment. Great utility, which gives him a bit of information on at least Baby Bay's oh, position. Bell. Spots the silencer. There's going to be the swing, but up top, Baby Bay there for the trade and the position. V1 not overextending, not wanting to go and take the back of sight just yet. Happy just to play in the post plants. And they're much more confident about just picking the plant this time as well because you have, you know, two people sort of covering, especially Penny. You have the fact that Raucus is down as well, so late rotates from phase. Um, in a proper 5v5, if Ooh. Raucus doesn't die there, I think they're not going to be as confident. With Baby Bay gone, this is going to be a very difficult retake for phase now. Penny can find an angle here around Jen. It's actually Zels just pushing from Elba. He's gone full aggressive, looking to fight together, but Corey and Marv team up to make this one happen for the moment. It was back to the 2 on 2, but player 1. Sharp Marv has no wall to work with here, has to just rely on the engagements and knows now the position of the killjoy. But he will have to run away. Running out of time, no half tick. And no G ultimates. But again, Vanity, naturally an all part coming from CS. Let's see what he can do with this here. Although he's not expecting Corey close underneath. And he's there for the trade though, so it's still even numbers for both sides. Low HP coming through from Raucus. Won't be able to get a heal from, I assume, Marv when he gets over here. We're already on the side. Zels, every single time you ever run it back, by the way, this is going to be really clean. He's going to go straight to the back side. He's going to clear it. Actually gets scared by Penny, his teammate there. Still gets Raucus down. Yeah, now that the runner back has gone, V1 have control. He's decided to swing. I think he was trying to help out his teammate. He was stuck in a rough position. Even so, it doesn't work out, and V1 are looking good to maybe take another Zachary down at heaven. You now it's a stop to Marv. The man's put on a big performance on map 2 today. He needs a big performance on map 3 to make this one happen for FaZe, because V1... They can get another round here. They're going to be running away with the half. Curveball from Elbow Zelsus. Go off the follow-up. Effie's tight line. He connects on the head. Now the most probably significant lead by far. Marv by himself. We'll get the kill though. That's actually massive for Marv. Big pick. Puts him in charge in terms of the numbers. Baby Bay as well. Deals with the split through mid. Player 1 was just standing there. No man's land. Phase three man advantage, make it four as Corey doinks on Zelsus. See you later, Effie's him against the world and Phase Splits coming through in this map. It's it's a very rare thing. So Phase have done that. They got the mid control, walled it off. Over on to now a free site where it was just vanity and V1 nowhere to be found. Mm. Look, Mac, we've talked plenty about V1 retakes. It's gonna have to be one of those again. Got a man down. But I guess they have to go for it. You got the recon dart coming in in just a moment. That one's lined up. Looks like it hasn't come through just yet. D1 trying to get a bit of control from the rafters. It's a one for one. Raucus long range with that ghost. Fishing out some deadly remains. damage. Zelsus as well from below. All of a sudden, V1. Driver's seat. They need to get the tap on the bomb. Baby Bay in a very open position. Looking to drop off after finding one. Kenny on the timing. Jumps out. Tailwind's back. Just looks for all the info. But that recon dart hits him. He's missed the opening of heaven. He'll go down for free phase now. A huge advantage. Still need to get this bomb planted though. Zelsus around the corner. Curveball. Big play. Bomb down. Now things starting to go wrong for phase. Flank coming in from V1 eventually as well. Let's see if Vanity can get here in time. Raucous. Another. 
We're running out of time. No chance. He's going to do it. The it's also small here. Is it the perfect time for it? Yes, it is. Running it back. Let's see if he can find his entry. Well, he's got the info. I mean, where Baby Bay was playing, is it going to be enough? And then back the other way, Baby Bay makes it work. Vanity with the Bucky in hand. He's absolutely insane with this weapon. 10 seconds or whatever it is to get out of that one. Looks like no one is caught by it. Penny, there it is. Threads it over the top. Baby Bay, out of the equation for this round. And phase now. Only got that one duelist remaining to try to get back into sight. But it's Corey. And on this Rainer, you can certainly do some work. No Leers remaining, though. See if you can get back in. Oh, Just a matter of time. Big shot from Vanity again. The Bucky laying groundwork. He's looking to peek on the front of sight now, knowing someone's here. Misses the left click, goes for the legs instead, and we'll go back. Him and Effie's the dream team around the corner. It's actually Penny from on top. Draw a whole lot of attention. It could change the odds here. Maybe there's a pick off. Baby Bay on the aggressive picks up a weapon with a kill. A huge chance of an upset here on the go round. Here you go, Baby Bay will fall, so elbow cleared out. Now it's the post plants they need to worry about. Raucus dropping the shock dart as well, and oh. he actually gets Effie's off the bomb. Oh my lord, the defuse not quite working out, and he's even got the ultimate as well. From the Hunter's Fury, nice and early though, so still a chance for V1. They're going to be pushing up, trying to find him. Corey, filtered out from the cubby. Marv's on the back of sight. Do they expect him in this position? He's going for the knife! He's just going for the double right click! It's perfect, Marv! Full bit way off of sight for the moment. Bit of damage traded, but sight found inevitably by FaZe. Baby Bay, play on the aggressive, connecting the totem pole, but maybe not player one. Villain so damn sharp, Spike is wow. planted in time, but FaZe, the numbers thin. V1 forcing their way back in, Penny. Big job with the blade storm for still able to fight around the elbow here. Aspas here, Central's gone. FaZe might be gone next. That would be, Ooh. oh my god, Marv, is already down. That's no more res. Almost going from bad to worse at the moment. Penny, can he find the second man? No, Baby Bay puts FaZe on his shoulders. He's had enough of this shit. Oh my lord, four kills. He's looking for the... Down versus Hunter's Fury. Raucus has to save it for sure. And this is where I think V1, they'll chuck everything into it if they need. Oh. Runner back's been used. The Zelsus is gone. Penny falls. Lockdown barely. One enemy Baby Bay laying down so much work, but it's Zachary for two. Corey on the single to play a one. Effie's needs to do all the work, but he's only good for two. Blank is no longer from V1, but the site's there. Player 1, not in the position to stop that bike from being planted. Shock Dart does some good damage onto Marv, though. He tries to get away, Zelsa stops him. Now, that's the numbers for V1. Can they close it out? We need to find four more players and defuse that spike if it's to happen. Smoke on the front of site now, as we are going to see FaZe just opt for the post plants. Smoke. On the spike, and Corey, he's going to land it on the oh. head through the smoke. Raucus is here to play. Everything's working out. Zachary finds two, and it's up to Penny in a one-on-four. He's got Cranny's making sure no one's gone for an early push. Yeah, Rifon Bolt finding Corey in the corner, and Zelsa steals with him. That's the entry. V1 were looking for phase. Can they set up the retake? They're going to be thinned out before they can even think about it, though. Vanity and Zelsa's doing all the work. Player one chimes. And good for both sides. Oh, Zelsus. They knew that he pushed up aggressively. And there's the spam into Nest. Marv. Doing God's work. Zachary as well connecting. Phase now an opportunity. Once. That's a hit. Oh, Penny misses. That's a huge miss. Spike planted. So close to that wall bang as well to stop the spike from being planted. But again, Penny stops him on the exit. So it's going to be back to the three on three. All three for Phase. Trying to play around yellow. There's the oh, lineup. No. But the whiff, there's nothing found. And Raucus takes down Effie's. Now Vanity needs to find some bit of uh, trade coming through. It's going to be Penny to do so. On a knife's edge now, V1. They need this to close things out. Vanity finds another. It's all up to Zachary. He's been huge so far. But it's Penny. Gets the classic out. Zachary, see you later. And V1. They've got time for the defense.